Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to this month's favorites. So I didn't have anything that I didn't like this month. In fact, I have a product that I didn't really care for when I first picked it up and decided to try it out and now I love it. So that's a positive. Uh, before we get started, I am wearing a new Milani M Amore Metallics liquid lipstick, lip cream. Sorry, I keep saying liquid lipstick. They're called lip creams. Um, the one I'm wearing is, I don't remember the name, I'll put it in the description box down below. I put it away. So, that brings me to lip products. The very first one, of course, I have been loving these uh, Milani Metallic Liquid Lip Creams. This one is Materialistic. This has been my all-time favorite shade since I picked them up. I haven't had them for a full month, but I had to throw it in there. It is the most gorgeous bronze metallic shade. I can't stop wearing it. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing it. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, I've been wearing this bad boy like every day. I can't get enough. The next lip product that I've been loving is the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Wrath. It is the most prettiest nude, like rosy shade. I love it, love it, love it. It works perfect if you're going for a bold eye and you just want a nice nude lip. Um, they're so comfortable to wear. They do transfer, but like I said, if you don't, if you're not one of those people that likes drying liquid lipstick, you guys will love these. The next product is the Bella Pierre Makeup Eyeshadow Base. You guys, I've talked about it before. I talked about it in my drugstore haul video. I said that girl Shay uses it all the time. She swears by this product and I get why. It is such a great eyeshadow base. It's nice and tacky. Your eyeshadow stays on, long wearing, all day long. I love it. I picked mine up in a set at Burlington and I got some... Uh, eyeshadow pigments in there. You guys, if you have a Burlington or a Marshalls or a Ross's, make sure you guys look for the Bella Pierre eyeshadow bases. I know that a lot of um, subscribers have been finding it at Marshalls. So that is an awesome product. The next thing, since we're in eyeshadows, I'm going to talk about is this I Love Makeup Salted Caramel palette from Makeup Revolutions. This palette is gorgeous. I have been loving this palette. I know it's like um, more of a natural looking palette. Uh, you guys are not used to seeing me in palettes like this. You guys are so used to me seeing bright and colorful looks. But I hadn't really been using this palette, so I decided to go ahead and dust it off and put it on. And one day I was just like, yes, why have you not been using this palette, Sheena? The shadows blend like a dream. Now, these are the dupes for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So if you guys have not checked them out, make sure you do. These run for $12. They're so good, so pigmented. Like I said, they're buttery and they blend out like a dream. The next eyeshadow palette that I'm going to talk about is my Luxie Beauty palette that I put together myself. These shadows are the bomb, you guys. Seriously, there's not one in here that I don't like, but I will tell you um, the ones that I've been using the most. This one, which is called Wheatness. I'm going to give you a little swatch here. It is the most unique mustard yellow shade. And then this one right here is called 24 Karat. And you guys can see why. Look at that pigmentation. These shadows are so pigmented. They blend out amazing. If you've never checked out Luxy Beauty, please head over to their Instagram page, their website, and check them out. Their shadows are amazing. My very last eyeshadow palette that I'm going to talk about is my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. And, of course, once again, I've been loving the gold that's in here. Let me see what they're, what this gold is called. Fortune Teller. And I've also been loving this purple, which 
I believe is Caitlin Rose, but let me double check on that before I tell you guys. Nope, this is called Masquerade, and um, this one is called Untamed. So I'm just swatching the ones that I have been loving, loving, loving. This one is called Houdini. Give a little swatch of that one. And the last one I've been loving out of this palette is Pegasus, which I got a thumb swatch of that one. So I'm going to point to it real quick. So Pegasus, Houdini, Fortune Teller. What did I say this one was again? Fortune Teller. Fortune Teller is the gold one. This orangey bronze, Untamed, and Masquerade. And I'm going to give you guys just a little swatch so you guys can see. If you do not know, Makeup Geek shadows are so buttery, so pigmented, and also blend out like a freaking dream. They're definitely worth, worth the price. So those are the ones that I've been using most on my lid lately that I've absolutely been loving, especially Pegasus. Look, it is like the perfect summer shade. And you guys know I am a sucker for gold and bronze shades. I'm sorry that my hands are already all stained up. I did a liquid lipstick dupes video. And you guys know liquid lipsticks are hard to get off. So if you guys have never checked out the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I would do so. This is the Shimmer Collection. I did get this whole entire palette off of the Makeup Geek website. So the next things we're going to jump into here are highlighters. And the first one I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This palette is like a hidden treasure. I love these highlight shades, especially that one right there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I still got eyeshadow on my pinky. Anyways, right there. Just such a very, very pretty highlight. I'll just give you a little swatch there. A little bit goes a long way, as you guys can tell. And my husband did pick this up for me, but I believe these are about $5, five or six bucks. Literally, probably no more than that because Wet n Wild is such an affordable brand. And they have stepped their game up over the years, you guys. The next one I want to talk about is this Wet n Wild Highlighter in Boozing Brunch. Um, my friend Heather picked this one up for me. And it is a really, really pretty gold. I'm actually wearing it today. And I don't know, I'm sure you guys can tell, the highlight is the bomb. Um, it has been another alternative for my Mac, oh darling. And I know, don't think I'm crazy, you guys, because this gold is very close to that one. Um, they blend out very nicely. They're very soft and buttery, super pigmented. Love it as well. So check that out. The next thing is my NYX. HD Studio Finishing Powder. Now this is one of the products that I had picked up months ago that I just was not a fan of. And that's because I was trying to use it to bake my face the way I use my Aerospun and like take my beauty blender and set it underneath my eyes. This powder does not work like that. Duh, it says finishing powder. But when you think of that, you think, oh, I can set with it. Well, the grains in here are very, very fine. So what I've been doing lately is I actually haven't been baking. Um, I don't feel like I've really needed to. So I've been taking this and simply dusting it underneath my eyes and the places that I highlight just to set the concealer. I've been setting my forehead and my chin with it. And I'm telling you right now, I haven't been getting oily. So this HD powder is amazing. It's great if you're gonna take pictures too. Set your whole face with it. I love it, you guys. I picked it up at Ulta for $10. So check it out. The next product I have here is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Longwear 12 Hour Power, that is a lot, face primer. And you can pick this up at Walmart. I'm not sure on the price of this, but I know it can't be more than 10 bucks. This primer is long lasting. I don't get oily with it. It keeps my makeup on all day. So I've been loving it. Make sure you guys check this out if you're at Walmart, the hard candy products are amazing. The next thing I have here is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. This is another product that when I first got it, I tried it on, I did a first impressions video, and I wasn't a big fan because the color I felt like made me look a little orange. And as you can see, it's really orange. And I just felt like they didn't have my shade. 
well, now that it's summertime and I'm darker, I'm wearing the foundation today and it blends out so nicely. It's long wearing. It's one of my favorite foundations. I've literally used it almost every single day this month. So I love, love, love this foundation. It is one of my better foundations that I own from the drugstore. So if you guys have not checked this one out, make sure you do. The next thing that I have here is a lip, uh, lippy pencil liner from ColourPop. And it is in the shade Leather. It is a really pretty purple. I am wearing it today. I will give you guys a little swatch. Their lippy sticks, their lippy liners, if you haven't checked them out, are super buttery, super smooth. They glide on very easy and they're really pigmented. So I recommend these and they're only five bucks, you guys. So check out ColourPop because they have some amazing products. The very last thing I have, which is a little bit dirty and a little bit beat up <laughs> because I've had it for a while, is my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. As you guys can see, it is very soft and it blends out very nicely. It's the closest thing that I have found to the beauty blender that works really, really well. So you guys should definitely check it out and I think it was probably like $10. I have a backup. Can't stop squeezing it. Anyways, you guys, that is it for my monthly favorites. Like I said, I didn't have anything that I like. I disliked this month. Maybe next month, especially since I picked up a lot of new products, we're going to be testing a lot of stuff out, so stay tuned for those videos. If you like these videos and you want to see more every month, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on all social media, which is linked down below. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. It is truly the best makeup you can wear. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Bye.